Hi! So, you've already read the title of this video, you know what's going on here. So today, I wanted to do something a little bit different. I haven't had a video where I just sit and talk to you guys. I haven't had a video like that in a long time. It's been a while. I feel like we just need to take a moment to, to chat about some things. I don't really have too much I want to cover, this video probably won't be that long. But I also wanted to take this moment to open this! <laughs> so I just released a reaction video to the Wolf Among Us 2 trailer. I am so hyped for that game. I'm beyond hyped. It looks so good. And I got a lot of really nice feedback on that video. A few people mentioned the comics, which was something that I've wanted to see for a long time. I wanted to read the comics for this game. I don't know if the game is based off the comics or if the comics are based off the game. I'm not sure. Either way, I'm very excited. I want to open this really bad. <laughs> also, I made sure to take off my address this time. Shout out to my unboxing video <laughs> for my desk. This also wouldn't have been possible without a very, very kind donation to my PayPal. Uh, for the comics and I was very very blown away. Some of you guys that donate are absolutely incredible. I don't shout it out enough but thank you to anyone who takes the time to donate. It really does mean the world and I'll get into that later but for now let's see what this is all about. Now listen this ain't no PlayStation 5 okay but it is very exciting to me. <laughs> Ooh, they're so pretty! I haven't even looked at them yet, but oh, I just <laughs> put it in my mouth. They're really shiny. I didn't know they'd be so shiny. I'm very excited. Ooh, wow, these are so cool. Okay, I wanted to go through these with you guys. Look at this. So, we have Bigby here. It is very shiny, like I said, and then we have the back. You can see snow right there. Sorry for the reflection. I don't know how to get rid of it. Wow, this is so cool. You can see like the index and stuff like that. I'm hitting myself in the face. I'm very, very excited. I'm definitely going to be binge reading this probably in a day, probably today, honestly. I probably will get it done like today. I don't know. I just really like the art style. It's very much in line with the game, but still like comic booky. Wow, great review, Aaron. <laughs> and we have the second one, volume two. You can see the Crooked Man on there. You can see Nerissa and who else is on here? <laughs> uh, Beauty and Beast. Oh my God. This is so cool. Sorry, I'm like, as I'm trying to review, not review, but show them off, I'm like trying to read it at the same time. This is not, this is not good. So I just wanted to take a moment to show you guys how beautiful these are. And I do realize that on the front it says based off of the Telltale game. So I believe that these are actually, um, that these have come after the game. <laughs> I just realized that. Unless I could be wrong. I don't know. Either way, these are extremely, extremely beautiful books. I am so excited to read them. I don't know how many comics there are. I only got the first two. But if you guys have the rest, let me know how they are because I'm very excited to just dive into these. I just wanted to show these off. I wanted to un unbox, unwrap these on camera because I was just so excited to get them. I know it's not a PlayStation 5, but listen, I'm very excited. I'm going to be reading these all day. But of course, that's not all I wanted to talk about today. I just wanted to sit and chat about some things that have been going on in my life. So obviously I'm not one to get very, very personal on this channel. I like to sort of keep my personal life its own thing. I talk more about like my day-to-day -day stuff on my Instagram, like through my stories and stuff, but I don't really get into like my mental health a lot. It hasn't been something that I'm really comfortable talking about and still honestly, I don't really like to talk about it, but I will say that 2020, through 2022 so far has been very, very rough, like extremely rough. Definitely the hardest years I've ever had to deal with and I'm only 21, so I guess that's not really saying much. I've had a lot of ups and downs. I've had some really, really cool things happen, namely this channel. Meeting all of you guys and getting to know everyone has been so much fun and just the amount of support that I've gotten in such a short span of time is also very mind-blowing to me that we're already almost to 18,000 subs, which is crazy. It is really, really crazy. I've kind of said it before, but my goal for this year is 20,000 subs. Um, I'm really, really hoping to reach that. If I don't, it won't be obviously the end of the world, but I just think it, it would be a cool milestone to hit. I feel like 2021, 
I didn't really upload as much as I would have liked to and same goes for this year but if I'm honest it's been rough like I recorded a mental health video um a while back and I looked through it and I deleted it <laughs> like I I hated talking about it I don't really like getting into like my mental struggles I guess and even now I don't think I'm going to get into it much but I will just say a lot of it is I am a chronic overthinker and I've done a lot of research into like OCD and even though I'm not officially diagnosed, it is definitely looking to <laughs> seem like what I have and it really does explain my entire life so far. So like I said, I'm not saying people should go around self-diagnosing themselves, but for me it's been definitely a lot of help to figure out like what's going on up there you know i can't get comfortable in this chair <laughs> i keep moving around and also the sweater is so hot and so itchy oh my god some days are better than others some days i feel up to recording i feel up to editing but some days i honestly just want to lay around and not do anything at all and i have such trouble with motivation sometimes a lot of trouble with staying committed to things like my channel has been a really a huge test of my focus and not procrastinating as much because that is something that i really really don't like about myself i tend to put things off to the last minute and i have such trouble with motivation when it comes to doing things that i actually want to do i just can't find the energy sometimes and i think my uploading schedule has really really suffered because of that so it is really really hard it is very difficult some months and my heart goes out to you guys who suffer on a day-to-day -day... <laughs> what and my heart really goes out to you guys who suffer on a day-to-day -day basis with mental health struggles and just difficulties in general with how the world is lately I feel like everyone is having a really rough time and part of me feels like complaining about my life isn't helping anyone it's not doing anything good <laughs> it's just like a way for me to vent i guess like i said i don't really want to get into it too much but as far as like ocd goes i really really urge you guys to look into what it actually is if you're confused because there are a lot of misconceptions out there which is why I never would have assumed that I could possibly have it. And I'm not saying I do 100%. Obviously, I'm not officially diagnosed with it. As far as me looking into it continuously and doing intense amounts of research into what it actually is and how it can manifest itself, it really does explain my entire life. And I it, it goes back to like when I was very, very young dealing with some mental turmoil i guess it's not all having to wash your hands 20 times a day because i'll be honest my room can be a huge mess sometimes so when people think that ocd is this quirky fun thing it's not the best way i can describe it is like mental hell basically being trapped in this endless loop of obsessions and thoughts in your head that just will not go away no matter what you do and the more you try to push them away, the stronger they come back. So for me, it's been extremely helpful to sort of accept that I won't be able to push them away and sort of lean into that discomfort. And a lot of therapists will talk about like leaning into uncertainty and me trying to figure out how to actually do that. And it's been a huge challenge. And like I said, I've had some really good days. I've had some really, really bad days. But I'm definitely pushing through and I really want to thank you guys again for just always being so patient with me. And even when my upload schedule is whack and I hardly upload during the week or the month, you guys have been so supportive and just I really, really thank you guys so much for everything. And my channel members too, I really, really appreciate you guys. Trust me, your support truly means the world to me and I want to do more. I want to do more for you guys. I guess my next point, besides all the mental stuff, which again, not gonna get super into. I know there's a lot more that 
could be discussed about that, but I'm just gonna leave it off there for now. But as far as my next point goes, I really, really, really want to start streaming. I know it's something that I've talked about on and off throughout the years, but at this point, I feel like I'm ready and I'm really, really excited because I want it to be a different way for me to just hang out with all you guys and be able to do it in an environment where it can be super chill and relaxed. My main thing is I'm not planning on playing any story-driven games on streaming. I know that a lot of people actually really dislike streaming for games like that because a lot of the time you can be distracted by the chat or making sure all the technical stuff is going right. For me, I'd really like to just keep story-driven games to recording Let's Plays and not be distracted because I think it just wouldn't really be fun for <laughs> most people to see me not really invested in a game. I feel like a lot of people like to see me play a game and be invested in the story and just immersed in the world and to have, I think, streaming like live chat next to it it kind of takes you out of the experience a little bit. I'm not super set on everything that I'm going to do with streaming. I think I'm going to keep it to YouTube. That way I can have the VODs up on the channel and they won't go away so people who miss them could come back and watch them. I also think that even though Twitch is very appealing, I think that I already have all of you guys on the channel here and to move to a whole other platform I think would be kind of challenging. I've done a lot of research into this, I've talked to friends about it, and it's been a really challenging decision, but I think I'll probably stick to YouTube for streaming. I do have a Twitch account, and some of you guys found it. I was really surprised when I looked, I have like eight followers on Twitch, even though I haven't done anything on there yet. So shout out to those eight, eight followers. I see you guys. Who knows, maybe I'll go to Twitch if I'm not really feeling YouTube streams. And I'll try out both. I don't know. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I really apologize for my rough appearance. I just had to run over and check on my grandparents to make sure they were okay because they weren't responding to texts, but they're fine. I'm back. <laughs> and now I'm sweating. But literally when I got back, I had received a notification of a donation that I got. Uh, I want to do a shout out. I don't really do these ever, but thank you to Joel Miller who just donated. Oh my god, I don't know how to <laughs> ever thank you. And I am kind of freaking out. I don't really shout out people like that, but I just really felt like it was necessary. There are so many other people that donated as well. I'm not leaving them out, but I just wanted to thank all of you and thank you to Joel Miller. I don't know if that's your real name, but you always comment on my videos. I see all your comments. I just really appreciate you. You really have <laughs> been supporting me for a long, long time. So. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. You can see that I'm like sweating. <laughs> With all of your guys' help, I know that I will be able to comfortably afford a PlayStation 5 when I get the opportunity. And I seriously cannot thank you all enough. I really don't know what to say. I know that you guys are, again, some of the most patient people that I've ever known. And I am just always, always thankful for you guys. But to kind of circle back around to what I was talking about before, as far as streaming goes. I really want to know your guys' thoughts. I want to know how you guys feel about it. If you'd like to see me stream, if you think maybe Twitch is a better idea, what games you'd like to see me stream, maybe some more Minecraft because I was going to start that series, but I realized that I just feel like I'm not entertaining enough to continue a series where there's no dialogue, it's all exploration, it's very slow paced, and I think that might be really fun for a stream or Maybe something like Subnautica, which I've never played before, but I've always wanted to. I was thinking of maybe going back and replaying the first Last of Us to just have a fun time with you guys and relive that nostalgia of my all-time favorite game. Even though I think everyone already knows what happens in that game, I think it would still be fun to go back and replay it and relive it a little bit. I just want everyone to know that I'm very excited for the future of this channel. I am hoping to do some collabs soon. I'm hoping to continue the series with my friend Jess. Um, it takes two. A lot of you guys really enjoy that. I really appreciate it. I've been having so much fun recording with her. I'd like to maybe do some more cooking videos or something fun like that. If you want to see more like vlog style, maybe I could do something along those lines. So yeah, this was definitely a shorter video. I didn't really have too much to talk about, but I want to sort of give you guys an idea of 
how I've been doing and what I've been occupied with <laughs> and sort of give, I guess, another explanation as to why uploads aren't as consistent as usual. And most importantly, to thank all of you guys for everything that you do for me. I just cannot thank you all enough. Thank you so much to my channel members. You guys are amazing, the donators, and just everyone who leaves a comment or a like or even watches. You guys are all so special to me. I hope everyone is staying safe and staying healthy, taking care of themselves, and maybe taking a day or an hour or even a few minutes just to really take care of themselves and do something that they enjoy. I feel that that is very important because I've been learning to do that for myself, to kind of take a minute and ground yourself and just take a deep breath. And trust me when I say things do get better. Things will not stay bad forever. I've had a lot of ups and downs. The bad feeling that you're going through, it won't last forever, trust me. Your physical health is just as important as your mental health. And it's really, really important that we all take time out of our days to just really appreciate what we have and be thankful for still being here. <laughs> I hope to do one of these videos again soon. I think, it, I think it's been long overdue at this point. Anyways, I won't waste any more of your time. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for being here for me and being there for each other. Everyone on the Discord too has been so sweet to each other. It's just been really awesome to see you guys thrive on your own. So yeah, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.